Lost in the shuffle of the Dakota Dozier resigning kerfuffle on Tuesday was, hey, one of the Vikings' youngest players retired. The Vikings placed 24-year-old tight end Hale Henches on the reserve retired list, and it's a little bit surprising because heading to year three, it did seem like Henches did have the inside track to be the Vikings' tight end three behind uh, Gronklin as well as Irv Smith Jr., his former college teammate at Alabama. It's like, you know, Brandon Dillon, Marion Barbarian, it's whatever, but Henches giving his blocking prowess, I think, uh, did have a, a better shot at getting on the field more often. Uh, And from what we gathered, Hench just sounds like he's just ready to get into the business world. And the NFL is a grind, man. And maybe Hench has just looked around and was like, hey, I can bust up my body for the next couple of years. I've already done that quite a bit. Played two years in the league. Played big-time college ball at Alabama. And I can be a journeyman blocking tight end, making the league minimum wherever I go. Or I can get a jump in the business world, find my new passion there, and be ready for the next chapter of my life. So I do respect the hell out of his decision. Uh, background, Hench is 6'4", 248, former four-star recruit from Jefferson, Missouri. Recorded 15 catches, a buck 24, six touchdowns over his four seasons in Tuscaloosa. Mainly a blocking tight end, backup for O.J. Howard and Irv Smith Jr. Was named team captain his senior year. So you have a backup tight end being named team captain. That's special. Was also named SEC Scholar Athlete of the Year 2018. Got his degree in marketing, so there you go. Uh, was undrafted in 2019, but ended up in Colts camp and impressed enough to make the 53-man rooster uh, for a month. Then was picked up by Washington. Actually played a game against the Vikings. That was a Thursday night. Uh, Case Keenum, Adrian Peterson Bowl. Good times. Uh, was back on the Colts practice squad in 2020 when the Vikings picked him up later in the season after injuries to Kyle Rudolph and Irv Smith and Brandon Dillon. He ended up appearing in one game. Now, with the henches out, does tight end become more of a draft need? I think it certainly does because Irv Smith, heading to year three, looks to be ready to be tight end one. And Tyler Gronklin is awesome, but he's also headed into a contract year. And the Vikings would benefit from a traditional hand in the dirt inline tight end. So you look at uh, the board. Fryermuth going to be out of range. Kyle Pitts definitely going to be out of range. But Hunter Long from BC, Luke Farrell from Ohio State, Miller Forrestal from Alabama are some mid to late round guys that I like a lot. The Vikings also met with Ole Miss tight end Kenny Yaboa, who also played at Rice. They met him virtually, but he's more of a move tight end, much more in the Irv Gronklin type mold. But again, having multiples of those guys ain't nothing wrong with that. But that's it. Yeah, we wish uh, Hell Hench as well. Go crush it in the business world or wherever you want to do. Respect. But now, tight end, Vikings can need one. There you go. Uh, beer thoughts. Hail Henches, retired reserve list. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull something to Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.